What is up, guys? Welcome back to a brand new Brawl Stars video. Today, we're going to be talking about a relatively tough topic to cover, and that is going to be why I would remove Leon from the game given the opportunity. If I could just hit a button and have Leon shot out of a cannon out of Brawl Stars, I would do it. However, I just want to preface this by saying I love playing Leon. He's one of my favorite brawlers by far and easily my best brawler at this point in time anyways. And I just want to make sure you guys know that before we talk about this, because I'm talking purely from a game design standpoint that I would remove him from the game. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So you might be thinking, Chicken, why would you remove Leon from the game? Obviously, he can be balanced. He can be pushed down to a level where his win rate isn't ridiculous. Eventually, he might get there. Right now, obviously, he started out way too powerful. They nerfed him. He was still way too powerful. Nerfed him again. Still way too powerful, most likely. We're going to have to see how they react to that in the near future. But with that said, I don't think Leon is good for the long-term health of the game. First and foremost, invisibility is something that's unprecedented in this game before Leon, okay? We have no other brawler going through the entire list of them that you have to think about, you know, okay, there's a brawler that can just sneak up right behind me without the aid of any bushes, without the aid of anything that can turn that brawler invisible other than his super. And we can see his super built up from a long distance very, very quickly very very easily now obviously supercell felt relatively similar to me in that regard and that's why they made it so you're going to see him when he's four tiles away from you and i think that that was a great way to go about nerfing it to a more reasonable place but at the same time you still have a brawler that can just appear out of nowhere whenever at any time they feel like doing it and there's no way to properly account for that unless you have a brawler that like pam shoots wide and shoots a lot of bullets for a decent amount of time and even then you're going to have to waste a lot of ammunition just shooting around areas that otherwise would never have any brawler in it because you're checking to see if Leon's in that area. All in all, guys, especially in Showdown and Duo Showdown, you're going to have situations where you had no idea there was a Leon present in the entire game, and he's going to go invisible. He's going to absolutely destroy you, and there's literally nothing that you can do about it. Before Leon was added to the game, you had a fundamental way that you approached invisibility in Brawl Stars, and that was going to be making sure that you're checking bushes before you go into them. Everybody in the entire game has gone into a showdown match. They've gotten 10th place because they walked into a bush and a bull was waiting there and they just got taken out. That's happened to every single player that has played this game for more than 15 minutes, okay? I promise you that it's an early game experience that everyone will have. And that's an expectation you start to build on because other brawlers cannot go invisible when they're not in bushes, okay? There's no other precedent for that until Leon. Leon introduced a borderline game-changing super, meaning that he can be invisible at any place on the map, no matter what. It can be in a bush, it can be not in a bush, and even in a bush, you have what basically amounts to a sort of visibility indicator because his super is going to show the little visibility marker that, you know, you are as a Leon visible from that tile range before you're actually going to be visible to your opponent in a bush. So you have sort of this added benefit of having an indicator when you're in a bush area and being able to see that there's a person around you before you are actually visible to them. So now when you get into a game mode where you don't necessarily know every single brawler you're going up against, you're going to have to check around you. And for brawlers that have lower reload speeds, it's going to change the way you play the game. And there's a lot of cases where it's just not going to work out for you in any sense because you're not physically able to check every single area around you all the time. Now, I think this goes back to a core thing that happens in game development. There's boundaries that the player will never ever be able to cross because the game development team has deemed it impossible to ever cross them, okay? Things like, for instance, if you go to Clash Royale, there's no way to destroy the bridges. You know, I know a lot of people make videos talking about that, but there is no way and probably will never be a way to inhibit the movement over a bridge on either side of the map. And in this case, we're seeing them sort of define these boundaries in Brawl Stars. They're making it so 
in Leon's case, he's breaking something that we weren't fundamentally able to say is a game mechanic before and making it a game mechanic because now Leon can be in any place at any time, invisible, unbeknownst to you until he chooses to reveal himself or he accidentally walks into his radius of visibility. So overall, what does this mean? What does Leon's introduction to the game mean for Brawl Stars? I would say it means that they're willing to go out on a limb that other game developers might not be willing to. For instance, with the same mentality, and they, they might be not placing this introduction into the game with as much significance as I am, but with the same mentality, they might actually go into Clash Royale and introduce a bridge-breaking mechanic to it. You know, they might make it so there are different things that inhibit the way you go across the bridges, different ways that you'd go across the map, things that, you know, maybe that team would never actually implement into the game because that would break your expectations and the fundamentals that the players have come to expect you know maybe they would be willing to break that and maybe that means that moving forward we're gonna have more and more mechanics for new brawlers that do break those expectations and make it so we have to fundamentally change the way that we play the game again and again now is this going to be something that's a big deal in the long run to be completely honest with you guys i don't know it could be a huge deal you know they could make brawlers that can swim across rivers they could make brawlers that can fly over top of people you know with their super they've already done that but i mean in a more significant way where it's like the movements that controls them as they're going over top of the map you know things that maybe wouldn't have been approached by any other game development team with the introduction of leon we now have confirmation that they maybe would go ahead and try that out at the very minimum so what does leon's introduction into the game mean in the long run for brawl stars well it could mean that the brawl stars team is looking to introduce brawlers into the game that are maybe going to push the boundaries a little more than other game developers might you know again this fundamentally changes the way you play the game you have to take into account there could be an invisible little chameleon boy hiding right behind you ready to take you out and pinch you with the rest of his team at the same time you know you don't always know he's going to be there so when he is in the game then you're going to have to be very cautious very careful make sure you're checking bushes make sure you're checking behind you because he could be behind you where there are no bushes so there's a difference in the way you play the game when leon's a part of it and i do think that as time goes on we're probably going to see a lot more brawlers that change the way you play the game in a very fundamental way so overall guys i think it's important to talk about all this because a lot of people are going to think that's a positive that you know the chaos in the game is going to make it interesting that every single meta because of every new brawler is going to be very different and that we're going to have so many things to think about that the actual skill cap of the game is going to go up very significantly because of it over time as we get new brawlers or you can think that maybe they're going a little bit too far changing the fundamentals in that way might not be a good thing for the long term in the game because you know you have this established way that you have to look at the game you have this established way that they're not necessarily going to go past this boundary and maybe they do with a new brawler maybe you don't like that so let me know down in the comments below i would love to hear your thoughts on this entire topic do you think leon should be removed from the game obviously he's not going to be but do you think that you know maybe he should be removed from the game in the sense that he's changing the way you play it way way too much for one specific brawler so with all of that said you can take this one of two ways the first way is accepting that it's going to be very chaotic but thinking that that's a positive because it's going to change the way you play the game very very often whenever a new brawler that breaks the fundamentals of the game comes out we're going to have a different way of thinking about everything the metas are going to change we're going to have a different way of playing every single unique game mode and every single unique map in this entire game and it gives a lot more creativity to the team to make very fun very interesting new brawlers for us to play at the same time there's another way of looking at it which is basically that when you have this chaotic new introduction to the game that sometimes it can give so many bad feelings to players that they just don't want to play anymore in this case i think leon might be the best possible example of that because people when he first came out went up against him and there was no way to beat him i mean let's be completely honest the win rate must have been in the high 80s or something like that with how absolutely ridiculously overpowered he was even after his first nerf he was ridiculously overpowered there's really no arguing that and even now his win rate i would imagine is pretty high so you know with all of that said you can really take that as a negative too that the developers are willing to break the game and make you know metas that maybe people don't like very much with all of that said please let me know down in the comment section below what you think personally because this is a very hotly contested topic a lot of people on either side of it and i'd love to hear your thoughts so to take it all the way back around to the title of the video yes i would remove leon from the game and the main reason for that is as follows 
if you're going to be cautious enough to play against the Leon and catch him as he's going invisible and getting around you to take you out, then you're going to be doing so at the expense of the rest of the game. The other two brawlers on the enemy team are absolutely not going to be letting up at any point. And if you're just wasting shots checking for a Leon that might not be there that you might miss anyways, then you're not going to be shooting the shots that you should be shooting at your opposing team. And that's really going to fundamentally, again, change the way that we play the game in the long term, which I just can't get behind. Now, if you were to actually nerf Leon super to maybe two to three seconds long, I would feel a lot better about him personally. The main reason being that he's not going to be able to optimally position himself where he can absolutely take out the opponent that he really wants to in every single situation. Maybe he's only got, you know, half a second left on his invisibility and he's still pretty far away from the opponent he wants to go after. He's going to have to make the best of that situation, meaning that you waste your super on average more times, meaning that most likely you're not going to be getting as much value out of it. And I really think that that's the way to go. But yeah, guys, that's going to be about it for this one. Thank you so very much for watching. As always, let me know down in the comment section below if you have any ideas for future videos you'd like to see on the channel. And additionally, please let me know what you think of the topic of today's video. Very, very big one. Definitely going to uh, turn some heads and make some people angry. So I imagine everything's going to be super, super nice, swell, and uh, reasonable down there. But I will see you in the next one. So then have a fantastic day. Peace.